down center preferred uh, alternative, which sets a limit of 400,000 square feet of office retail space, should allow this limit to be increased if incentives such as transfer of development rights, affordable housing, or low impact development are incorporated in, propo in proposed projects. Can you do that again? Do you believe that the town center proposed alternative, which sets a limit of 400,000 square feet of office and retail space, should allow this limit to be increased if incentives are incorporated in proposed projects? There's a lot of things at play. First of all, the road that Mark talked about, 244, is going to help a lot in being able to let this area empty out and have another way to get to 202 and, um, and other points. Um, the work on Highway 202, we lobbied hard for that, we lobbied for it. That was one of the first things I did when I came on the council was go down to Olympia and try to get uh, the flyover ramp back in the budget. And then they did put it in the budget, but they were going to do it in 2011. And Got it. It's almost done. So that's going to help. There have been a lot of intersection improvements at the end of uh, East Lake Sandwich Parkway with the timing of things. And then, you know, we're just going to have to keep working on the grid system and continually uh, fixing the roads and, and upgrading the sidewalks so that people have a safe place to walk as well. Because um, safety improvements also improve transportation flow. So it goes hand in hand. But the sidewalks, too, are almost as expensive as building the roads. So, um, so we, you know, we've worked hard, we've got a plan, and uh, as the town center sort of comes more together, then we'll be able to look at that plan and figure out where we need to do some additional roads or what other additional improvements need to be done. And uh, so uh, we'll, we'll handle it. I mean, you all want it overnight, but it's, it's, you know, we're working. We've only been in existence for eight years, and we've had a lot of improvements.
That's, those are the total maximums I'm looking for. Two, uh, as, as the, the question was also, how tall is too tall? How tall is too tall? Um, we're going to do some digital imaging on that, but I think probably the answer is somewhere in the four and five story range, which is uh, 50, 60 feet. But we have houses in the city that are already 35 feet and you know, on slope land or a little bit taller than that. So having you know, um, a town center that's maybe twice as tall as our houses is, is appropriate. It's possible, though, that we'll, we'll look at incentives, we'll look at the, the tremendous views that are available up there. And if we have a developer who's uh, proposing to put in extra uh, structured parking, provide some public amenity, we may allow them to go taller, uh, particularly if they were providing a, a new housing type like townhomes or um, apartments that uh, would give us a more of a diversity of housing here in the city, I certainly would want us to consider going forward for that. John James. This happens to be working out perfect with the questions coming in. So. All right, John, your question is, Other than volunteering for a short-term parks bond committee, you have not participated in city government. With your limited experience, how will you be able to be a fully functioning member of the city council? Okay. Um, you have to start somewhere. I'm not running for president of the United States. So, you know, city council usually for elected office is the beginning. And I don't have any aspirations above city council. I'm just here to make a difference. Um, Michelle alluded to the fact that, that I reached out to the current council members and asked for their advice. Not really asked for their advice. I, I was asking for the response and got some advice. So I'm going to defer to her and the others that responded to me, uh, saying that if you want to get involved in city council, this is the place to start. I took a leadership position. I'm an active community. President of lived on the plateau for 12 years. Um, I've run a business. Um, I am a business person. I think I offer diversity to the council. Um, you know, I have an acronym that I used uh, when I was a management team. Together, everybody achieves more. And if, you know, by allowing somebody like myself that has kids, and has people that want me uh, to help offer a voice uh, in the city council. Uh, I, I didn't think of this all on my own. I didn't think about it, but I asked people, should I do it? And I've been very encouraged so far. So I appreciate the encouragement from those people. And um, I think I have a background, especially in the real estate arena, that would be helpful for the town center. Um, you know, there are people on the council and those that are running that have other backgrounds that, that could be beneficial. Um, but again, I think for city council, and I've reached out and I've spoken with each of the city council people that aren't running and you know, all but one have sat down and met with me and, and I asked what should I do, be doing, which, how should I be preparing, what it, was your experience and I feel confident based on that input and my reaching out to them and then other community leaders uh, that I'm the best person for the job, the position for. Thank you. 